Welcome to The Truth Is Out There. A new series of videos talking about a wide range of topics. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about don't keep your money in the bank. First of all, bit of a disclaimer. First of all, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, don't act on what I say in this video. It's entirely up to you um, what you do with your money and how you invest it or don't invest it. So, but I'm just giving you my opinion on the matter of why I think it's a bad idea to keep your hard-earned money in the bank. Whether it's a couple of hundred quid or tens of thousands of pounds. Not a good idea to just store it in the bank. First reason, obvious reason, is the bank does not give you hardly any interest. You can have £10,000 in the bank and at the end of the year have pence in interest. So you've got to ask yourself the question, why would you keep your money in the bank when there is alternatives to saving tens of thousands of pounds in the bank? I mean, the reason we do it is because we're brainwashed from day one Oh yeah, go to work, earn your money, put your savings in the bank account. That's all we know, because that's all we've been taught from birth. Save your money in the bank. Now I'm saying it's not a good idea. Um, you get zero interest on it, and there is alternatives to them tens of thousands of pounds you might have stashed in your bank account. So let me give you a couple of examples what you could do with that money that you've got saved, right? Instead of just storing it in the bank and forgetting about it, make that money work for you. Because you might want that money in years to come as a bit of a nest egg or for retirement or whatever. And it's literally not earning anything in the bank, is it? So why bother keeping it there? First of all, what you could do is, if you've got plenty of money in the bank, a good idea is to buy a second property, get somebody else to rent it, and in 15 to 20 years, with you renting that property out, it's, it's gonna be paid off, then people are renting it out, are, are gonna have paid your mortgage for you and then that house will actually act as a second income. Uh, so let's just say, for example, you bought your second house, <clears throat> you rented it out, and it's giving you um, 700 pound a month. And 600 or 650 of that uh, money is for, for the mortgage. You might have 50, 100 quid left over in case a boiler wants repairing. But in 15, 20 years time, then people have been renting your house out, that house is going to be paid off. You continue to rent it out, and that £700 a month you get is going to be yours to live on. So there's one option. Another option is <clears throat> do what a lot of people are doing nowadays. They're not keeping the money in the bank. They're doing a bit of um, trading on the stock market with apps on your phone like trading 212 and um, eToro and stuff like that. Now you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, but uh, you know, I think it's a bit bit difficult to do and um, you know, I don't want to lose my money if the shares go down and all the rest of it. Now when it comes to something like shares, I know a few people that do it and it is relatively easy to do. It's not rocket science, I can assure you. And if you invest in shares, instead of keeping that 10 grand in the bank, you could buy shares in people like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Rolls Royce. You know, they're, they're companies that have been around forever and a day, and they're not 
they're never going to go bust, are they? They're not, they're not going to go anywhere. And even if they went to the point where they were going to go bust, somebody would buy them out and you'd still own your shares. I mean, okay, they go up in value and go down in value. You know, if they go up in value by a couple of hundred dollars each, you know, you, you could even sell them and make a bit of a profit. Or you can leave them in there long term and use it as a bit of a savings account. By putting money into shares, like the ones I've mentioned, it's just like having them in the bank. But you've got the opportunity of them going up in value steadily, steadily over the years. And you could end up with um, more money than you originally put in, put in them. I mean, I know somebody that bought one Tesla share at the time of this video, bought one Tesla share um, for like $850 and uh, they've been previously on the market at like $1,200. So you're never gonna get two or 300 US dollars in interest if you kept it in your own bank here. So why keep it? Why keep your savings in the bank when there is alternatives? I mean, the trouble is, people just don't teach you about the alternatives of saving your money apart from the bank. No one's going to tell you because if we stop, if everybody in the country stop putting money in the bank, the banks are going to bust, won't they? So they're not going to tell you, are they? There's alternatives. But there's a couple of alternatives um, that you could do with your money. As far as I can tell, they're pretty safe bets. What you've got to consider is, let's say you've got £10,000 in the bank, as an example, and it's just sitting there making no interest, and it's not making any money, is it? Let's face it, it's pence, right? What do you think? The bank's doing with your 10,000. It's not just sitting there in your account, I can assure you. They take your 10,000, they loan it to somebody else who needs to borrow 10,000, right? And then they charge them massive amounts of interest to borrow your 10,000 pound. And they'll give you a fraction. It, it'll do it. You'd be lucky if you get 10 quid a year out of 10 grand. Do you know what I mean? But they'll be charging hundreds of pounds to lend your £10,000 out. Okay, if you need your £10,000, it's there at the drop of an act. That's, that's the way the banking system works. But they're not going to tell you, or the government's not going to tell you, and the bank's not going to tell you that, hey, guess what? You can actually use your money and make money from it and invest it in different places um, where you can benefit in, in the long term. They're not going to tell you that, are they? They don't want us to do things like that. They want everybody to stick all their hard-earned money in the bank and forget about it. Wrong move, guys. Get your money out the bank. Well, this is what I would do. <laughs> Take your money out the bank, buy an out second house to make money out of, or buy stocks and shares even if you do stocks and shares for the long term and don't want to look at it for the next 15 years, it's only going to go up, isn't it? So, no brainer guys, don't be a part of the flock. Don't be a part of the flock and stick your money in the bank and forget about it and just accept the very small amount of interest that they give you every year. Don't be a part of the flock. Make your money work for you, otherwise, you're going to suffer through so life. So if you fancy taking the route um, of like putting your money in a few shares and see, see how you go with it, um, I'll leave a link in the description below to um, uh, eToro uh, mobile phone app. So just click on the link uh, and if you fancy it, have a go at uh, putting a few hundred quid on some stocks and shares, see how you get on. But, but don't be scared if they go down in value because over a long period of time, they're only gonna go steadily and steadily up and be worth, with a bit of luck, they're gonna be worth a bit more than what you put in. But yeah, click on the link in the description below 
and uh, down, download um, the eToro app and just have a bit of a dabble with 50 quid. You never know, you might like it. Uh, but that's, that's the other option, so yeah. Well, that's about it. Just a couple of examples um, uh, of what you could do. Like I say, I'm not a financial advisor. You do what you want with your money, but there's a bit of an idea if you're interested. Uh, makes sense to me. So, from yours truly, until the next video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.